Indeed is one of the most popular job posting websites. In 2010, they passed Monster.com to become the highest traffic job listing site in the United States. As a result, their job listing database contains tons of valuable information. You can use their data to draw all kinds of analysis. Are different cities hiring more specific professionals? What are the average salaries per industry per city? We are Parsub, and today we will go over how to scrape Indeed data with a free web scraper. With this knowledge, you'll be able to extract data related to job listings, such as companies that are hiring, roles in demand, average salaries, and more. To do this, we will use Parsub, a free web scraper that can easily tackle this task. You can download it for free through the link in the description description or at parsub.com. Now it's time to get into the nitty gritty of things. Here's how to scrape data from Indeed. Make sure to download and install Parsub for free. Boot it up and click on new project. You should now enter the list of job postings to scrape. For this example, we will scrape the results page for operations manager jobs in Toronto. Enter the URL and the site will now load inside the app. Now it's time to set up your web scraping project in Parsub. Start by clicking on the title of the first job listing on the page. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. The rest of the titles will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second one in the list to select them all. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to listing. Now, click on the plus sign next to your listing selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the title of the first listing on the page. Then, click on the name of the company underneath it. An error will appear to show the association you're creating. You might have to repeat this step with a second listing as well to fully train the scraper. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to company. Repeat the previous steps to also pull the company's location, listing salary, and listing rating. Rename your selections accordingly. Your project should now look like this. Feel free to pause this video to have a closer look. You might want to scrape even more data from each listing that is only accessible once you visit the listing page. We will now set up Parsub to click on each listing and extract more data. Click on the plus sign next to your listing selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on no and rename your new template to listing page. You can now use the select command that is auto-generated to select the data you'd like to scrape from this page. In this case, we will scrape the job listing description. Rename your selections accordingly. If you want to extract additional data, just make sure to create additional select commands. Parsub is currently only extracting the details we've selected from the first page of search results. We will now set it up to extract data from further pages of search results. In the leftmost tabs in Parsub, go back to the main template. At the top, navigate back to the browser tab for the search results page. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection, choose the select command, and then click on the next page link at the bottom of the page. Rename your selection to next page. Click on the expand icon next to your next page command. Delete both extractions that appear once you click on the icon. Click on the plus sign next to your next page command and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat your scrape. To scrape five pages, we will need to repeat four times. You can now run your web scraping project and download the data you've selected. To do this, click on the green Get Data button in the left sidebar. Here you can choose to test, run, or schedule your scrape project. For larger projects, we recommend running a test scrape. In this case, we will run it right away. After your run is finished, you will be able to download it as a CSV or JSON file. You will now have access to all the employment data you requested. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.